morning, lovely people. Welcome back to people. Good morning, lovely people. It's Gothic Vegan 05 here, back for another video. It is Good Friday. Um, I have just woken up. I look like a cross between Adrian Mole and something from Harry Potter. But I am uh, off for four days now. For any of those who didn't know, I am a funeral director, so I am classed as a key worker. So I am still working through these uh, terrible times. So, um, yep, yeah, I've just got my cup of coffee here. Sorry about the uh, knickers and tea towels hanging up there in the background. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I just thought it might be good to vlog my day. Um, what I'm going to do with my day off, we have the little uh, boo bean here with me. Um, I'm going to have uh, a nice long bath um, and yeah, just show you what I'm going to do in my day. I might do a bit of baking because I have some pumpkin, uh, tins of pumpkin that I need to use and I've got a brownie mix so I might make some pumpkin bloody brownies. Uh, so yeah, I might do that today and um, do a bit of cleaning um, and but yeah, I need to clean my fish tank out because their rocks look minging and I don't know why, uh, it's never happened before. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'll show you what I get up to today. If you want to join me, yeah, carry on watching. a couple of things, guys. Um, I purchased both of these from Amazon. I'm reading this at the moment, which is The Secret, which I'm sure loads of you have heard of. Um, but it's a book about basically like manifestation and apparently it changes your life. It changes your mindset. And instead of thinking about things that you haven't got that you want, you you imagine that you have them and then the universe will bring them to you. So this is a really, really good book, a very positive book, I feel, uh, in the times that we are in at the moment. So yeah, I will link that below. And also, I bought myself this. Now this is the Law of Attraction, um, like diary kind of thing. And this is all uh, to do with the secret as well. Um, it's a lot about Law of Attraction. So this is really cute rose gold kind of journal and inside it it's got like my life statement my vision statement and um the oh this planner belongs to <laughs> um but yeah you've got like a whole planner index for people that like to like really um organize their lives um awareness and self-discovery most important life questions it's really really incredible and i've been reading through it i haven't filled anything out yet but it's just really cool um, and uh, there's like a diary there from like um, like half an hour intervals that you can fill out if you like planning your day like that you've got like your priorities of the day the goals of today reward if achieved it's really 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 cool book now I do have some stickers but there's this um, like my journey where I am now where I am going how do I get there it's just like oh I know I'll put the stickers in the back Oh, it's difficult to do on hand. You get all these stickers as well, like good vibes only, let's party, you can do it, like all like positive uh, things. And then you get all these little stickers for like the dentist, coffee, cleaning, it's really, really cool. And then I'm grateful for shopping lists, important, and you can get a really pretty map in pink. <laughs> So, yeah, um, I will link this below as well. I am going to try and fill this out over the weekend, but I just think it's a really nice little thing, and it's got, like, all the star signs up here. There's mine. I've got just got a tattoo of that. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's the Law of Attraction journal and the secret. I will link both of those below. Just wanted to show you those. One little thing is uh, groom was uh, due a couple of weeks ago, and obviously because of what's happened, it had to be cancelled. So... Should mummy cut your hair for you? Do you want mummy to give you a cut? A chop? <laughs> oh no, I won't do it, darling. Yeah, poor Mr. Boo. He looks a bit of a scruffy mess, don't you, darling? At the moment, always by my side, aren't you, sweetness? Lovely boy. Lovely boy. So yeah, there's Mr. Boo. And uh, I'm sure we'll be able to show you a few things that he gets up to today too. Boo? Boo Boo, what's this? Who's this? Say hello. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Clearly not. Moody. Bubbers. So there is Lily. And Herman should be coming around. There he is. There's Herman. Little fat boy. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, these need to be cleaned. So I don't know why this is happening. Because um, we clean them out once a week. Um, 
So yeah, I'm not too sure why that is getting so gross. Do you know why, boo? <laughs> no. Okay, so yeah, that is one job for today to clean out the skull and the rocks in the fish tank. The water's really clean um, because we've only done that a little while ago, but yeah, I think those things need uh, need cleaning. There's Lily's bum there. <laughs> Herman and Lily, the lovely little fishies. I'm just going to get the bed made. I always like to use a bit of this on the bed before I make it, just to give it a bit of a top up for freshness. A bit hard doing this with one hand. It's my little, uh, it's like my bedspread. <laughs> my little animals. And these also, guys, these pillows are incredible, the V pillows. Um, I just love them. You can cuddle them at night. They're great for sitting up and reading and like watching uh, YouTube in bed. Um, yeah, I'll link these below as well because these are one of the best things that I have ever, ever brought. Excuse me. Da, da, da. That's the bed made. Hello ball, here he comes again. Hello. Oh, he's so moody. Right, so yeah, that is the bed I'm just going to make myself a little bit of breakfast and today I'm just going to have a bap with, I'm going to have a little bit of flora light uh, dairy free butter. I'm going to have, this is incredible for like putting in a frying pan and cooking like bacon. This is the um, totally vegan corn smoky ham. Um, but if you uh, fry it in a frying pan, it tastes like bacon. Well, it doesn't taste exactly like bacon, but bacon-esque. So we're going to have that with some, well, with a avocado. And these are the best thing ever. These are the sweet cucumber sandwich slices, but they are lovely with avocado and bacon. So I'm going to make that. I'm just going to get a little bit of fry light and spray that into a Z little frying pan. I'll take a couple of pieces of these. These are, honestly, they taste so good fried in the frying pan and they will be like vegan. And I think I'm going to have three pieces. So we're just going to turn that on if I chose the right one. Okay, so that is on, and then I'm gonna take me avocado. Oh, that's not the right knife. These bad boys. Okay, so, oh, perhaps I shouldn't have had this in the fridge. Send help if I cut myself. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm making a right old mess of this, aren't I? Work. Oh my god, this is too hard, I think. Ten hours later. Let's see if that's worked. Oh my goodness. Finally. Oh man, this is not ripping off. This is a rabbit off. This is getting on my nerves. Oh, come on, you're supposed to just twist it! It's not so good, don't like the look of these little bits on here, but we'll just ignore those for now. Yeah, that sounds good. Lovely. I'm going to get the avocado because it just isn't ripe enough, so we're going to have some Tommy peas with it instead. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to cut them in half. Maybe four of them. I'm just going to stick these in with the uh, ham and uh, grill them a bit. I'm going to shove them in with this. Get that all cooking up nicely. And that will be delicious. So I have the little cucumber bits underneath. You cook this to your taste. I like mine quite uh, crispy, as you can see, with a little burnt tomatoes. I like that taste. 
Um, so yeah, that is going to be my breakfast. And then I always like to fill up um, one of my old plastic bottles with some squash. Uh, I've got a litre here. I'll do this twice a day and try and drink both of them. So let's, I'm going to take this in the front room now and eat this with my cup of coffee, drink my cup of coffee and uh, yeah, think about getting ready for the day. One of his uh, favourite treats, uh, which is the carrot sticks with a little bit of chicken wrapped around them. And this is a delicious and healthy treat for your doggo. So boo-boos. How do you want this? Do you go, darling? There you go. Off he goes. Moody. So now me and Boo are just going to nip out for a little bit of our allocated hour a day walk. So we are going to just nip around the block. That takes about 15 minutes. Take the old essential poo bags with you people. Pick up your dog poop. Very important. I've seen so much of it around lately. It's just laziness I tell thee. Laziness. We pick up poop, don't we, darling? We, yeah, we do. We pick up your smelly poop. Okay, so we'll take you along with us for our little walkies. There we go. Right. It's really cute out here because some of the little kids have been drawing rainbows. There's my little pigeons that I feed every day. Morning, chaps. Look at this, how cute. Okay. That's really cute. And then some more over here. Yeah. That's so sweet. And then um this is the tree that's next to my house that I uh all little coconut shells on for the birds to eat and there's my little Tupperware pot where I feed the foxes so yeah I like this part of the uh, the world I'm just about to finish our walk um, I think I'm gonna go home now and uh, tidy up the kitchen and maybe run a bath, have a nice face mask, and a glass of wine. Um, and that's going to be my afternoon, and then I'm going to do some baking. Ready. I've had to turn it off because it was making too much noise so before I have a nice relaxing bath I do normally have a shower but when I want to really treat myself I always like to go all out so I have this coffin shaped uh, bath tray which I believe was got from life after death designs on Etsy and um, I'm sure that's where we got it from um, but I always like to fill it up with everything that I need so I don't have to move so I'm gonna light this candle glass of wine now I do drink um, yellowtail wine and that's vegan friendly even though it doesn't sound on the bottle I've researched it yellowtail wine is suitable for vegans um, and then I'm gonna go and have a hair mask which is this vegan formula um, Garnier ultimate blends uh, this is amazing um, for your hair so I'm going to put that on then I'm gonna put my Disney shower cap on I got from Primark ages ago and I just use that every time I have a hair mask. I just like to stick that on and uh, yeah, I look really cool. Not. 
Um, and then I have cleansed and washed my face, so I'm going to go in and use, this is my favourite, and this is vegan friendly as well, the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. Um, I just use an old uh, makeup brush to put that on, because I just find that it goes on easier. Then I'm going to have a Lush Bath Bomb. Now this one, I kept the uh, little card that came with it. Boo got me this for Mother's Day. And this is the Evo Bath, so this is the Avocado bath bomb which i'm very excited to use um, and then i'm going to shave my legs and armpits with my vegan friendly uh bam bamba safety razor this is incredible uh, obviously it's going to last forever and you just have to buy the little blades that go in here my favorite bath time treat is the zingy lime from original source i love love this um so yes that is going to be my little bath time indulgence so i will see you afterwards um i'm probably going to do my makeup and hair um and then i might have some lunch then i will do some baking so see you soon well not soon because i'm going to devour that and watch some youtube videos in the bath okay so my hair mask is on as is my face mask now i'm going to use my bath bomb now before i show before i drop the bath bomb into the bath please excuse the bath water color it's not because i'm scummy it's um because i colored my hair last week because i saw some gray and um obviously i've washed my hair in this water and it looks black and that's not because I'm dirty because I shower every day sorry about Paul's pants there as well but um yeah let's uh oh, I'm really sorry about this water but it is what it is I am real Come off my nice relaxing bath. You're so adorable. I love you so much, Bobby. Look at your face. Look at that face. I love you, Chucky Button Eyes. I love you. <laughs> Lovely boy. Lovely boy. I don't want to get out of this bath, but the water's really cold now. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? Brilliant. A little brush. So I like to try and do it at the weekends. He likes to roll over and uh, he quite enjoys it if it's not too oops, he didn't like that. Not too tough, do you, darling? Boo, yeah, that was his. Sleep him in here, brush. Oh there we go. Difficult to do with one hand so I don't want to hurt him. He's, I don't think he's liking it today. Mm -hmm. So let's have a sniff. So give him a little brush. Make sure he's nice and... Because he's he can't have his groom, as I said earlier, I need to make sure that he doesn't get matted. So we just like to do this every week. Just to give him a little brush. He keeps on looking lovely and handsome arms, darling. He's so cute. He hates so me. This once he's been brushed, he just has to mess himself back up again, don't you? He <laughs> <laughs> just likes to mess himself up again. Why don't you like being clean and tidy? Hmm? Why don't you 
like being clean and tidy? <laughs> oh, I just brushed you. I know. Do you hate me? Do you hate Mama? Do you not like me? <laughs> Are you a cute little boy? Oh, you hand snobs. No? Okay. Okay, shall I leave you alone? Do you love mummy? Are you a good boy? Oh, boo. You do love me, I know you do. Just pretend you don't for the camera. Boy. makeup and hair done for today I'm not going out so I've just got a very light kind of makeup situation going on there is a couple of um, products I do want to talk to you about which I have just purchased now I don't know if any of you have probably already heard of Lottie London I've never heard of it before until I watched another youtuber um, uh, mention it and I went on there and the stuff is so reasonably priced this is all vegan and cruelty free and this is the foundation and this is number 25 medium it's just like a really it's called velvet skin tint foundation and it's quite runny but honestly it's so light it's brilliant coverage um, and it's 9.95 as I said I use number 25 uh, which is my skin tone for medium and I absolutely love this um, also there is another um, a beauty bay I've been on I've been looking on all the blimmin sites because I've been bored and beauty bay I picked up some brilliant items now if any of you have heard of the brand Nabla this is all vegan as well and this lipstick is just absolutely beautiful it's a nude and it is called Backbeat um, I can't remember how much this was I might try and link this below but this, the rose gold packaging and leaves is just absolutely beautiful and they also have a beauty blender which is a bit dirty at the moment this is quite expensive this is $8.95 but it really does get right into the corners and don't what I've just learnt recently is with your concealer don't put it right up to your eye because that's where it creases so just do it just below and this just gets right in there and helps out with that so that's Nabla and I also got their um, uh, highlighter brush as well I think this is £13 but again it's just really really beautiful it's vegan friendly and cruelty free and yeah I really like that and of course wet and wild I think are the most reasonably priced brush sets and these are all vegan this is my foundation brush which is quite disgusting at the moment but that was only 2 95 from Beauty Bay and the eyeshadow brush was 1 95 so to look at they look really expensive and wet and wild are a really good vegan brand so yeah I just wanted to mention those but you need to get on to Lottie London because this stuff is amazing um, this is like gold dust this is always sold out but I've just managed to get myself another one um, number 25 medium it's the best shade in my opinion um, but yeah get yourself on Beauty Bay as well for these brushes because they are amazing. it's 20 past 3 now I haven't had any lunch yet 
maybe because I'm on my second glass of wine maybe that's why I'm not hungry um, but it is good Friday I would normally be at work now so why not drink um, I'm gonna head downstairs now I think to make my brownies I do have some like pumpkin fill, fill in mix that I want to use up um, and I also want to try so I've got like a standard uh, brownie pack mix um, so I'm going to split that in half and do half pumpkin chocolate brownies and then I'm going to try because I got 10 bars of the vegan galaxy chocolate orange my beautiful friend Nadine um, who bought me 10 bloody bars of the stuff because I said I couldn't find it anywhere and I was excited when I did she sent me 10 bars um, so I'm going to put one of those in my brownie mix um, so I'm going to split it half pumpkin half chocolate orange i'm gonna see how it goes so let's go downstairs and make some brownies yeah. my apron on. So an apron always makes you feel kind of official that you're baking and the my little zombie apron isn't she beautiful <laughs> so i'm gonna get this on get this on and cook some brownies i hope this works i'm crap at baking I just felt like doing it. Everyone's baking at the moment. I want to bake. I want to bake and I want to drink. Right. Let's do this shit. The brownie, I am cheating a little bit and I'm going to use a brownie mix. So this is a raw cocoa flax and te teff brownie mix. Um, and this is from Sweet Pea Pantry, which is so cute. It's gluten free, dairy free, vegan, and no added sugar. This is how they're supposed to look. There's no way mine are going to look like this because I am actually going to do mine in here. So I'm going to do a pumpkin chocolate one in here and a orange chocolate one in here. So let's get on with the cooking. Let's see what we got to do. This says preheat your oven to 180 degrees, which is 160 fans. Oh. Sweet pea brownie mix into a bowl and add your oil and syrup and mix well. Whisk your egg and stir through. Obviously, because I'm vegan, I'm not going to use egg and I'm going to use this egg replacer because I don't use egg. Uh, and then pour your lined loaf brownie tin, blah, 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 preheated to uh, 10 to 13 minutes until cooked on top, but still a little wobbly if you like a more cakey texture. Uh, cook a little longer, cool, then devour. I am going to devour, mate, don't you worry about that. So, yeah, right, uh, stir in a handful of chopped nuts, dried fruit or swirl of nut butter before baking. Well, we're not, we're going to put in pumpkin or we're going to put in bloody chocolate orange galaxy. So let's do okay, this. So the oven's going on to 180. Oh, because this is rented accommodation. I don't have a fan assisted oven. Oh no, hang on. I don't even have. I need to know the guest mark. It's always guest mark six, isn't it? So if you have just our Siri in 180 degrees, is guest mark four. Just in case anyone wants to follow this recipe. Alright. That's on ready. Gas mark six. We're going to undo this. Ooh. Right. So. Oh, that's gone off. Stay on. Mother Dada. You stay on. Right. Right. So. Pour your sweet brownie mix into a bowl. So I have a bowl here and a wooden spoon. So okay, this is the mix. This is it's quick and easy. Let's see. So here's the mix. I pour this into the bowl. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then it says add your oil and syrup and mix well. So right, it says egg replacer, but it doesn't say. Hang on, two eggs. Okay, so what's on here for two eggs? One whole egg, one teaspoon egg replacer and two tablespoons of water. So I need two of those. So, right, so I need two teaspoons of this. Okay, so this is the egg replacer that I use. So we want two, it doesn't say heaped. So we're gonna do one. 
two, two of those. And then it's two tablespoons of water per one egg. So we need four of these. So let me just get some water. That's a bit of a waste, but I can drink that. So four of these. One, two, three, four. Should I put five in for good measure, just in case, because you know what it like. Okay, and then, oh no, 120 mils of vegetable oil, coconut oil. Right, okay, oh, sugar. Right, hang on. All is not lost. I have some scales. I have some coconut oil. It's 120. So, zero that. Oh, please come on, zero that. Zero, zero that. Should have checked all this really, shouldn't I, before uh, I don't know what so I'm going to open that. This is just stuff that I had laying around in the cupboard, would you believe? Oh, oh my gosh, that smells so good. So I need 120. Uh, 120 mils. What is this? Units. Ounces, grams. Ounces, grams. Oh, shit. Hang on. Okay, so we've had our... Our mixture is all mixed up. And now I'm going to get two bowls, two separate bowls. And I'm just going to take half the mixture and put it in one bowl. And then half the mixture and put it in another bowl. Don't know how well these are going to come out if I'm totally honest. Because I don't really think that is going to fill these. <laughs> it's probably going to be a disaster, darling. But... You know, we've had fun, we've had fun. So I'm just gonna try and scoop out as much of this brownie mix as I can. Put it in there. Now, now I have this 100% pure pumpkin uh, pie filling. I'm just gonna undo that. Okay, with a regular can opener, if I can. This is, uh, I should have probably done this off camera. Oh no, it's okay, it's doing it, I think. This is Libby's, I got this from Amazon. Oh my gosh, I love pumpkin. I love pumpkin so much. It smells like baby food. Okay, so I'm just gonna take half of this, whoa, right, and pop that in with that brownie mix. And then with the other half, I'm going to take half of this. Oh my god. If this works, we're on to a winner. Okay, it's all about experimenting, isn't it, when you're bored? All about experimenting. So I'm going to take half of that. And then I'm just going to break that up and pop that. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. This is definitely the best Galaxy Bar, the orange one. Okay, so that's what this situation is looking like. Where's my wooden spoon? I'm going to get a wooden spoon, a pumpkin and brownie mix, and I'm just going to mix all that in together. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Oh, that pumpkin's definitely giving it a bit more um, oomph. Definitely. Oh yes. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. Okay, so I've mixed all that in. So that's the pumpkin and the chocolate mix. I'm just going to take some coconut fry light. Get my little love heart tin and spray that all over. Only one, one calorie of spray. Oh, I don't know what that is. Right, I'm just going to run my finger all inside there just to coat all that okay and then stick the old mix in bit scared not gonna lie I'm a little bit terrified about this so I think <laughs> I'm not a baker I 
just wanted to try something different because it's bank holiday and I would normally be at work and I wanted to do something different okay so this is the pumpkin and chocolate mix I, didn't, I really didn't think that it was going to be a lot and it is okay so that's the pumpkin and chocolate I have actually hang on where are you Oh, I did have some chocolate bits, but they're in my baking tin, um, baking thing. So I might have to. Uh, I'm talking to myself. I'll do that in a minute. Now I'm going to mix the brownie and chocolate orange mix in. Actually, I'm just shove some chocolate chips on top corner later. Okay, so with the next tin, again the same thing. Let's spray that with some coconut fry light. And I think you should use the coconut one because it'll probably give it a little bit more sweetness rather than an oil bait like a olive oil or sunflower oil. Coconut oil would be better for a cake, I think. Because I know, because I'm wearing an apron, so I must know what I'm talking about, yeah? Jive. Right, get as much of the mixture out as you can. Pop that in there. Okay, yeah, this one's definitely going to need chocolate chips. No, actually, it won't because it's got lots of chocolate in there. Okay, so there's the chocolate <laughs> pumpkin, there's the chocolate and galaxy. Let's pop these in the oven and see what happens in 15 minutes. I'm scared. The oven. They don't look too bad. Oh my gosh, that one's a little bit flat because I think there was less mixture in that one. And the uh, Chocolate chips didn't quite melt in there, but that one, oh my gosh, they look good. I'll report back when they've uh, settled. It is now five past five on my bed, like kind of trying to start to edit this video and I'm starving. So I'm going to have some carrot batons and some 30% reduced fat red pepper hummus. So I'm going to have that while I edit. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's come off very, very well. Oh, it's a bit. Oh, I can smell like coconut. Um, what do you want to call it? Coconut oil. I don't know if that's cooked enough. Oh gosh, I'm not very happy about that. It's really um, coconutty. That's fine. We. We haven't um, failed yet because I haven't tasted it. And then this is the next one. This is the chocolate orange one. And pop that out. And very ew. right. Okay, that came out very well. Definitely put enough oil on there to stop them from um, sticking. So let's just dive in and try it, shall we? Okay, I'm going to try the pumpkin one first. That's what it looks like. Let's just try it. Um, nope, don't like it. Soggy, don't like it. It's a pumpkin one. Let's try a chocolate orange one. Ugh. That's horrible. No, it's not horrible, it's really soggy. Mm. Get it through water. Alright, I'm going to try the um, Galaxy chocolate orange one. Winner. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is very nice. A bit soggy though. Mm. This is good. Oh my gosh, yes. Well, the chocolate orange one is so nice. Really disappointed about pumpkin one. But maybe a little time in the fridge will help them. So, uh, let's have a look. No. Hang on. Right, so, I'm just going to grab some tin foil. Oof, grab the pumpkin one. Oh, it's so soggy. Stick that in some tin foil. 
and pop that in the fridge. And then the, uh, the chocolate orange one, which is so much more firmer. This is the pumpkin, pumpkin mixture is quite wet, maybe. But I'm going to pop them in the fridge for a little while. And see what happens but definitely the galaxy one Mwah. i think Lovely. i am going to uh, kind of end this video here because um it's already 41 minutes long and uh all i'm going to do tonight is probably have some dinner which will be some leftover chinese from last night um take boo for a walk take my makeup off and watch something on netflix so i think i will end it here um thank you very much for watching if you have managed to stay to the end um if you do enjoy these type of videos please let me know because obviously normally i just do like subscription boxes and stuff that i've bought so if you do enjoy this kind of content please let me know down in the comments please like this video if you did enjoy it and hit that subscribe button if you are new i'm so happy to meet you if you are and thank you very much to my regular subscribers i love you all very dearly um please stay safe and i will see you very soon uh, for another video because i have a vegan kind um lifestyle box to review so i will be back very soon in the meantime as i say stay safe be sensible stay at home Love you long time. Bye.